This is Alex. She fell in love with Noah. They have faced criticism for being in an interabled relationship. When we go out, we get looks almost to the point where people break their necks. People assume that my boyfriend has a disability fetish. The couple are expecting their first child together. When they announced the news online, there was a negative backlash. And like, it's fake, it's fake. Your timeline doesn't add up. Like, yeah. you're just doing this for views. There are so many comments like, this should be illegal. I'm Noah. And I'm Alex. We are an interabled couple. We've been together for seven months. I am pregnant with our first baby. We mashed on Bumble and yeah, we met up and the rest is history. I have a rare disease called spinal muscular atrophy, type two. SMA pretty much affects everything about my daily life since I became pregnant. Um, and I'm not on treatment right now. Everything is a lot harder than it used to be. I used to be a lot more physically independent. I never had thought that my boyfriend would be my full-time caregiver, ever. Definitely an interesting dynamic. Um, so like, we definitely have to have like boundaries in the relationship. When we started dating, we started dating um, I think our families both felt very different. Um, I think her family, I mean, her mom not so much, wasn't very accepting that like I'm a recovering addict. From the age of 17, I was addicted to Adderall, uh, stimulant speed, and uh, it kind of just progressed its way into other avenues. I've been to rehab three times now, and uh, I think I got, got it underway now, my third time. My family, they were kind of felt weird about being with a disabled person. They're very judgmental, so um, this was very different for them. But uh, the more they got to know her and the more she came over, it became more of like a, a normal thing. And they, they accepted her as just like any other human being. So I was happy about that. When we go out, we get looks from time to time, like almost to the point where people break their necks. Just because I've been disabled my whole life, I'm so used to like getting looks that it doesn't really register with me anymore. But I would say it definitely bothers Noah more than it bothers me. So some people assume that my boyfriend has what we would call a disability fetish. Um, which is interesting because they, I think the assumption there is that disabled people aren't sexually appealing. So for a non-disabled person to want to be intimate with a disabled person means that they must have a fetish. Yeah. Oh my god, all three of them say yes, dude. God, I'm crying. I don't know if it's like happy or sad or like, I was not planning this, oh my God. Oh my God, dude, that's intense. When we both found out that Alex was pregnant, it was a lot of excitement, but also a lot of uh, nervousness for sure. When I deliver, I have to be put under general anesthesia for the C-section. So I have to be intubated, and that is very risky for someone with my disease. You know, my medical team is very experienced with people with my disease, so I'm confident. I was here, so thank you so much. We do have a baby registry, but thank you so much. And for anyone that wants to buy us anything, the link is in our bio. Yeah, these are some of the baby registry gifts that our followers have sent us. These are some baby bottles, and they are SMA friendly. So like they're light enough that I'm able to hold them for the baby. I've been in the social media space for about six years, very publicly sharing my life on the internet. And obviously when I became pregnant, I really wanted to share that with everybody.
Our first scan appointment, um, a lot of anticipation, a lot of mixed emotions, um, excitement, but also very scared. Not that this had any bearing on us getting the scan, but it was very vindicating getting the scan for the first time because we were getting all these comments on TikTok. It was a fake pregnancy. The pregnancy was fake. And like, it's fake, it's fake. Your timeline doesn't add up. Like, yeah. you're just doing this for views. We had a video go viral yeah. and our Halloween costume, and they're like, how did that How occur? did you do this? The most hate I think I've ever received on social media. And it definitely is very mentally exhausting for sure. And I've always wanted to be a mom. People are saying, you know, abort the baby yeah. because it might have your disease. Yeah, and it's going to be mangled. What will you do if your boyfriend leaves you and you become a single mother? Would you have to hire a caregiver and a babysitter? There are so many comments like, this should be illegal. I've been like firing back at people. Like we did this one where our, on our ultrasound photo, we had a super clear photo of the baby like waving. I was like, yeah, baby yeah. Smith waving hi to the haters. We're going to take some photos to celebrate being 18 weeks pregnant. Eight, do I look 18 weeks? Yes, babe. Someone said, will you be able to care for the baby once it's born? Someone put no words. And then someone said, I'm sure everyone is concerned for her and her baby, but everyone needs to let her enjoy her pregnancy just like any other woman. You can put that scarf on me, babe. Just kind of like a blankie, I guess. Okay. We're going shopping for the baby, and we're so excited to shop and create our little family together. It's a very happy moment, and we're very caring, loving people, and we have the resources, the love in our hearts to be able to raise a baby, and we're very confident in that. What we would say to those judging our relationship, disabled people aren't unworthy of love, we're just people. We're in relationships, we have kids, we have families, and we're not going anywhere, so yeah. get used to it.